An example of an industry job is a research scientist working for a pharmaceutical company such as Pfizer or Moderna, who I am sure you know about unless you've been living in a pineapple under the sea during this pandemic. <laughs> Welcome to second day of my 90 day challenge college major edition. So today I will be highlighting biochemistry and molecular biology and because it's my alma mater I will enjoy this video and I hope that you will too. So in the short video I will be highlighting what the course is all about, what the major is all about, what are some of the courses that you should expect if you're planning on taking this as a college major and at the end I will give you a list of a few of the career paths that you can start looking into as early as now and work your way into that career. So without further ado, let's get in the office. <laughs> the consensus definition of biochemistry is the study of chemical processes in living organisms. Primarily biochemists are studying large macromolecules such as proteins, nucleic acids, lipids and carbohydrates. According to Nature, which is the largest multidisciplinary science journal in the world, they define molecular biology as the field of biology that studies the composition, structure, and interaction of cellular molecules such as nucleic acids and proteins. Already from this definition, you can tell there's a lot of overlap between biochemistry and, mole and molecular biology because essentially in both fields, you're studying proteins, you're studying lipids, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids, and their interaction with each other. So most of the time, molecular biology and biochemistry will be grouped together as one major. The goal of this major is to equip students with the fundamental basics in biochemistry, which is biology, chemistry, physics, and math. Meaning that most of the fields, when most of the careers that you will get into after taking this this course will be heavily in the sciences. As I previously mentioned, my college major was biochemistry and molecular biology. So this major is near and dear to my heart because I used all the skills that I learned from my undergrad to now that I'm in grad school. And some of the courses that you should expect when you're taking this major will range from biology classes, so cellular biology, uh, molecular biology, to chemistry classes. These include organic chemistry, physical chemistry, uh, general chemistry even, and you should expect some physics classes. And you know, math. Math is everywhere. Uh, so you'll get classes from uh, fundamentals of math, uh, calculus, which was a big one, and a lot of lab classes. So organic chemistry will have an organic chemistry lab. Cell biology will have a cell biology lab. And most of these things, most of these courses, they start out easy and building on what you already did in high school. So at your AP, if you did AP classes or your high school had the advanced sciences, they will build up on those fundamentals when you are in your freshman year and as you progress into your sophomore, junior and senior years, then you will get more advanced. The more advanced that you get, the more courses and the more lab work that you will have to do. So time management is really crucial for this major. Although it sounds difficult, biochemistry in molecular biology is so much fun. If you love discovery and learning new things every single day, honestly, this is the course for you. You learn how to apply some of the things, skills that you're learning from class, some of the things that you're learning from your books into re solving real life problems. And for me, that is what I enjoyed the most. Applying what I was learning from my classes into solving real life problems. Careers related to biochemistry and molecular biology lie heavily on the sciences. So the research fields that involve science, as you can imagine, they're wi very wide. So you can go into immunology, you can do cancer research, you can do pharmacology or go into botany, you know, plant biochemistry is actually a thing and a lot of agriculture companies are hiring graduates with biochemistry background to work on their agricultural products. Although the research focus can be quite broad, 
most of these careers fall under one of two categories. It's either you're in industry or academia. An example of an industry job is a research scientist working for a pharmaceutical company such as Pfizer or Moderna, who I am sure you know about unless you've been living in a pineapple under the sea during this pandemic. <laughs> in academia, you probably have guessed it by now, a professor falls perfectly into the academia realm where you work towards teaching or some professors do both. They do teach and they do have a research research lab. If they do have a research lab, they probably have a grant that funds it and in the research, in the lab setting, we call them principal investigators or PI. So these are technically your bosses if you end up working in a lab. Talking about working in a lab, if you're an undergrad or you're thinking of going into college, working for a professor in a lab would be great research experience for you once you're done once you graduate it's one way of actually practicing what you're learning in your classes and applying it to again solving real life problems and these professors they're available to you so you can literally just walk up to one of them after you, one of your classes and ask if you could volunteer or work part-time in their lab to gain that experience because it will be very helpful when you're applying to grad school or when you're applying for work and actually uh, if you've not watched my research journey and how I got to where I am and got the experiences that led me to now pursuing a PhD in biomedical sciences there should be a card popping up right now you can watch that video after you watch this and just to give you a heads up of how to build that experience as you go through college and make the most out of it. Back to other careers. So other potential jobs that you could get with a biochemistry and molecular biology degree would be uh, a research scientist, a lab, lab scientist or a lab tech, a biochemist, staff scientist, or a lab researcher. These are some of the jobs that you can get with a biochemistry and molecular biology degree. If you find this video helpful, Make sure to give it a like and share it with somebody who would benefit from it. And just so you know, I host informational interviews every Monday with real life professionals in different careers. So that could be another way that you can learn about different careers from actual people who, are, who have gone through this and they tell us about their career journey, what to expect in their jobs, how to get the skills to get to that position and pros and cons of the career and i have posted some videos already so check out my youtube channel at jackie Fies world for some of the videos that i've already posted and you can start going through them and seeing other potential career paths make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified every time that i post and my goal is to give you value and help you know what to expect as you're planning to get into that major or planning to get into that career career path so check me out every monday and for the next 90 days again i will be highlighting a college major tomorrow i will be here back again same place different outfit talking about microbiology so see you tomorrow With a slow motion crew And we up in our growlings when People change, but not us And we just chillin', kicking it Kissed by the sun Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon I know she got the good vibes when See